hey guys welcome back to the channel in this tutorial guys we're just gonna go ahead and install persistent 2 this mod right here is gonna go ahead and help you out to save as many vehicles in anywhere in the game all right so if you do log out of the game your vehicles are still going to be saved and when you do log back into the game you're still going to find your vehicles still in the same place that you lock them in okay so this mod is pretty cool right here so i'm gonna go ahead and leave the link in the description for this and of course guys if you are to download anything online please read the description just so you have somewhat of an idea of what it is that you are about to install in your game all right as for the requirements for this one you are going to need the latest script of v and script of v.net but we are not going to be installing this in this very tutorial i'm just going to go ahead and leave you guys the link in the description uh to send you where you can download script of v and script of v.net if you don't have it and i'm going to go ahead and leave another link in the description with a video showing you how to install script of v and script of v.net all right so with that said guys before we can go to the installation i'm going to go ahead and invite you to my channel over here if you're actually serious about modding your gta 5 i already have everything over here i am uh, trying to organize it in a version whereby it's going to be very simple for you to follow and simple for you to understand i'm trying to very much minimize as many mistakes as possible for your um so that you can go ahead and mod your gta 5 in a much more um efficient and easy way and try to minimize any problems all right so if you go ahead if you want to go ahead and install some lsp pdfr i do have all these tutorials right here the only thing that i ask is that you kind of like start from the beginning over here and just go ahead and make your way down i think that way you're gonna go ahead and find it very easy to install some of these mods all right and pretty much the same thing for uh real life mods as you can see over here this is what we are doing over here so for this video that you see right now is going to be on this list right here all right so i already have some of the tutorials over here and they're pretty much lined up in a fashion where i recommend that you actually uh install these mods by so that you can go ahead and eliminate as many mistakes as possible all right all i want is to make sure your game is running smooth especially if you are going to use my tutorials to mod your game all right so let's go ahead and uh, minimize this all right so the thing that we are going to need guys is our gta 5 main directory where you are actually playing your real life mods okay and then of course we are going to need the scripts folder over here so if you don't have the scripts folder so go ahead and right click over here go to new create a new file and just name it scripts just like so all right so i really recommend that uh, you watch my tutorials as i lay them out on my playlist so that when you come to this point over here you pretty much have all the basics and uh i mean all the basic mods already installed in your game so that everything is running smooth okay so let me go ahead and uh unzip these files over here go ahead and move this one over here as you can see here it says to your scripts folder so make sure you do um go ahead and create a scripts folder if you don't have one you can go ahead and read the there the, read the readme as well if you don't if you want to and uh, in terms of installation right here it just says drag and drop all the files into your gtf scripts folder so that's what we are going to be doing just now okay so let's go ahead and open up this file over here as you can see we do have five files we are going to need all these five files over here on my gtf 5 main directory i'm just going to go ahead and go to my scripts folder and we're just gonna go ahead and drag and drop everything in here all right so if you decide you don't want this mod anymore in the game the only thing i will advise you maybe you have deleted this mod already go ahead and download the mod again all right you don't really need to uh, unzip anything now all you need to do here guys is just go ahead and copy whatever you see over here highlight all of these files i'm just going to go ahead and do it right now as you can see we do have the persistent file over here go ahead and highlight this file the next one is going to be over here and the next one is going to be over here and then the meta data files over here as well go ahead and highlight all of these files and press delete okay this is how you're going to go about deleting this mod out of your game if you don't want it anymore okay so with that said guys let's go ahead and jump into the game here real quick and uh test this out and see if it works Alrighty, guys we are in the game let's go ahead and try to find you know what let's just go ahead and pull up out of this parking lot right here we're gonna go ahead and try to uh 
spawn another vehicle here real quick uh i did have the pleasure of actually installing a lot of add-on vehicles into my game and uh, i already showed you how to install the add-on vehicles and the uh replace vehicles as well but let me go ahead and just get out of the vehicle right now all right as you can see when i step out of the vehicle it's gonna go ahead and say press um it's gonna say press d-pad right to lock the vehicle but i'm not going to lock this vehicle right now okay because if i'm gonna go ahead and spawn another vehicle right now all right let me see if i can go to uh you know what go to spawn vehicles i'm just gonna go ahead and go to my add-on vehicles over here uh let's go ahead and take out the bugatti all right so if i go ahead and drive off all right with this bugatti right now um this contage is going to despawn okay so let's go ahead and drive around and we'll be right back and see if uh, this contage is still there okay is going to go ahead and despawn over here you know what let's not really go anywhere too far let's just go ahead and go back that contage should not be there anymore when we come back over here all right as you can see we do not have that contage anymore so let me go ahead and park this baby right here all right but now we are going to go ahead and lock this vehicle right here all right let me go ahead and uh close the door here real quick as you can see as you can see now i have locked the vehicle and it does leave that green marker right there okay so that means that vehicle is locked so now if i go ahead and spawn another vehicle here real quick um let me see i've been loving driving this contage so <laughs> let me see if i can find it again uh you know what it's saved over here but i go to uh vehicle spawning over here i like my contage man i saved it on the slot number one all right so let me go ahead and spawn this baby right here all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and drive off and uh, we have locked our bugatti right there so when i do come back that bugatti should be there okay and if i do log out of the game as well when i come back that bugatti should be right there on that spot that, that i just left it as okay let's go ahead and see if we can uh, make our way back to the parking lot over here all right as you can see that green marker is right there so i expect to see a bugatti right now all right take a look at this bad boy parked right here okay so as long as you lock your vehicle your vehicle is still going to be there i can go ahead and lock this one over here as well if i want and i can go ahead and unlock this one over here and if i do unlock this one i'm going to go ahead and unlock this one over here now if i go ahead and drive off i don't think this bugatti should be over here anymore when i come back okay so let's make another round here real quick maybe this is a weird way to showcase this mod but <laughs> it is what it is mate i just love whoa i love driving my contage mate why am i seeing a lot of bmws right now get out of my way get out of my way get out of my way all right let's come back into the parking lot over here as you can see uh bugatti is no more all right so you can go ahead and save as many vehicles as you want and uh, you're still gonna be find them in here even if you log out of the game you come back into the game your vehicle is still gonna be here all right guys so guys if this video helped you out to install persistent 2 and you find it very much helpful for you please do consider subscribing to the channel drop a like on the video uh, as well and please do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about my tutorial should i change my style should i change something please let me know in the comment section down below so that when i continue doing this tutorial guys i give you the best information as i can so thank you so much for watching thanks so much for